Hey, how's it going? I'm doing all right. After I lost 110 pounds, I thought I didn't need a CPAP machine anymore. A CPAP machine is... It's this thing that with a mask that, you, I mean, you could, it could either be on the nasal, just for a nasal pillow, or it can be this mask that goes over the face, and it pushes air in. It sort of, uh, well, it doesn't, I mean, obviously it doesn't force, force air. Otherwise, I mean, w how would you breathe out? But it's for those that suffer from sleep apnea. Uh, sleep apnea is where your throat, when you, when your throat, when you relax, when you're sleeping, the throat doesn't allow for airflow at certain times and so sometimes I would uh, uh, stop breathing in my sleep and then of course would wake up out of a, out of my sleep when, oh you know <clears throat> wake up with headaches sometimes I'd wake up uh, feeling less rested than before I went to sleep and uh, anyway I I thought I didn't need it anymore after I lost weight so I had given my machine to a friend of mine who's over 400 pounds who really, really, really needed a new machine, and he didn't know how he was going to get another one. But uh, over the past several months, I've been getting the same, not quite as bad as it was before, but I've been getting the same symptoms again. And also getting uh, night sweats. Now, I don't know for sure whether the night sweats are directly related to it, but it is it is something that people who suffer from sleep apnea get. And... Uh, so thanks to the the money that I've been making from the uh, voiceovers, um, I was able to, to do a, a down payment on another machine and then pay a monthly fee, small monthly fee for about a year until that's paid off. Um, yesterday I had an appointment with a pulmonary doctor, and I got a new prescription for a CPAP so I could even so I could do the order at all. So I'm hoping within about a week. I'll have another machine, and uh, I'll be getting a lot better sleep. I mean, it sucks to wake up sometimes. You know, you, you get six or seven hours sleep and sometimes feel worse than when before you went to bed. And then, you know, over the next hour, then finally, oh, I, I feel almost normal again, you know, after getting up. But it would be nice to, to actually feel rested from sleep. Uh, anyway... Hi, Zoe. Hey, Zoe. How's it going? Anyway, um, so, and then uh, Wednesday, I have a colonoscopy, and I chick, I've, I've had three, over the past several years, I've had several appointments that I've postponed and then eventually canceled because I was too chicken shit to to get the procedure done. It, I don't know. To me, it's just kind of scary. Um, but and then there's the prep stuff you have to do for you know three days before getting it done. So I, you know, tonight's the last d day that I can actually eat regular foods. Uh, you know, until the procedure. But I don't know. Have have any of you uh, chickened out of of a procedure like that before? Anyway, um, so that's kind of what's going on lately for me. Um, just wanted to give a quick update. So anyway, a blah, 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 blah.